Well, the latest news with Apple is that they will stop you from recording live events like concerts. This is going to be done by way of the concert venue or live event venue. They will essentially put up infrared sensors up on their stage, which will detect the iPhones in the crowd, contact them, most likely by way of 3G or some other way, who knows what Apple's going to do, it could be Bluetooth. And essentially, once the iPhone gets this command, if you want to call it that, it will disable the camera um, temporarily, as long as you're within the distance of the infrared unit. Um, it will still allow calling, instant messaging, all that, so you just won't be able to use the camera. Now, this is the second time that Apple has done a patent to be able to step into the live event um, area, if you will. The last one was when Apple did the patent for iTickets, I believe it was called, to where you could purchase tickets for live concerts and events right on iOS. Um, never saw the light of day besides the patent being um, approved. But um, for this, I think it's going to substantially affect iOS users if it comes to see the light of day, which I think it will. Um, record companies are going to love this, you know, all the live venue people are going to love this. Um, unless they decide that, hey, the publicity of having all the events recorded, you know, tweeting all that, that actually drives their business up. Um, whether it does or not, I don't know. But um, this would be very interesting to see what comes of it. Um, naturally, the ways to get around this would be to jailbreak, um, which is legal, but it does void your warranty through Apple. Um, and even then, with jailbreak, you'd have to find a specific version that doesn't have this in it, and Apple could find a way to hide it, possibly. But everything's doable. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. And this has been Brian for the Mac and Tech Network.